I think Dan Daniello is the entrepreneurial story. Someone who is truly self-made, who was able to rise above and beyond his circumstances and really live the American dream. Hey guys, what do you say we play a little game of Monopoly? Winner gets to start a private equity firm. Dan often talks about his upbringing in Butler, Pennsylvania, and what it meant to him to be raised by his mom uh, as a single mom and by his grandmother. You know, I came to realize early on in my life that there were people living their life for me. And it was one of these feelings that you have to pay back the people that are being good to you. I think that was all part of Dan's experience. Growing up, learning to work, learning to fend for oneself, and learning to share the success. I think Dan's time at Syracuse University really opened his eyes to a new world of possibilities. I didn't know whether I could make it financially. I didn't even know if I could make it academically. But the people that reached out for me once I was there pulled me up and changed my life. All of that came together uh, in a sense of family for me. And so I felt secure and confident there. In the spring of 1968, my plans didn't include military service. I was accepted and on my way to graduate school. That is, until I received my draft notice. His time in the military and in the Navy specifically taught him what hard work means, taught him what commitment means, and you know, values like integrity and trust. I had uh, three years in the Navy, became a, a supply officer, and since I was a transportation economics major, uh, at Syracuse, it really dovetailed well uh, into a basket of uh, business skills that I could take forward. The Carlock Group is a private equity firm that Dan Daniello, Bill Conway, and I started in 1987. It's one of the largest private equity firms in the world, and we would not have risen to this level without Dan's extraordinary contribution over some 30 years. Dan embodies the entrepreneurial spirit because he took an entrepreneurial risk. He had a great future ahead of him at Marriott. He could have been the CEO, I have no doubt about it. At the time, I was uh, uh, the uh, chief financial officer of one of the divisions at Marriott. I had, you know, my four bedroom colonial, two car garage with two kids, and life was really very stable at the time. But, you know, in the end, I concluded that if I didn't take the chance, that I might regret it when I'm 70 years old. And by the way, I'm 70 years old and I don't regret it. <laughs> Two hotels on Park Place. I just acquired another property and it's gonna be big. He is a very successful man. But I also think of his humility. I think of his generosity. I think of his kindness. I think the idea of uh, using one's capabilities to the benefit of others is a huge, huge virtue. My nature has always been, I will show you what to do. I will go out ahead of you and I'll pull you up. Dan Daniello touches so much of what we do at Syracuse University. He's one of our most committed alums supporting programs at the Whitman School, the Maxwell School, at the Institute. Dan has been a longtime supporter of our Entrepreneurship Boot Camp for Veterans with Disabilities program. We could not do what we do here at Syracuse University without Dan Daniello. And I think of uh, Syracuse as my foundation, my launching pad, my, my family, and uh, I hope others who go there can be helped by my involvement. Five hundred value creation. Who is this guy? He's a man of faith, and he lives it in deeds, not just in words. Everybody else who makes money has to look at Dan as the standard. He gives away his money. He's helping other people. He makes all of us look poor or cheap or not generous by doing so much for so many other people. In the end, business runs on trust, and people invest and do deals and transactions with people they know, like, and trust. You know, a lot of times I'll think, uh, when I'm facing a business decision, what would Dan Daniello do? And it's almost always a good guide to doing the right thing. Success the American way, success the ethical way, success the way that people all around the world are striving to find it.